The first page will have a search function on it, and hopefully this will do for most of your searches. So let's set up a simple search to look for papers that deal with COVID and Norfolk. I'll put each term in a separate line, and then from the range of fields available to me, I'll select the title field, and I'll do this with both lines. If I then click search, I should see any papers in Web of Science which have both COVID and Norfolk in their title, and we can see that there are three. Now, it may be that I want to put terms in individually and then combine them together after the fact. This will really help in seeing which of my terms are working most efficiently. To do this, all we'll do is run each term individually, so first COVID in the title, and then replace the text in the search box with Norfolk, and run the search again. Once I've run the individual terms, I'll go back to the search function, but this time I'll click on the advanced search option down the page. From here, I should be able to see a history of the searches that I've made during the current session. To combine multiple lines together, all I'll do is tick the appropriate lines and then use the drop down at the top of the history to select either AND or OR. In this case, we're going to use AND. This will then place my terms into the box above and all I'll need to do then is click search. And here we see the same three papers that we had for our initial search. So both methods of searching will generate the same set of results, but one allows you to see in slightly more detail how each line of your search is working. We can also filter our search from the left-hand side of our results should we want to, or we can click Analyze Results to see a breakdown of the results we have in our list currently. Now, because we only have three in this example, we're not going to see anything startling, but it's useful to know that you can do this, particularly for bigger pools of papers. You can view the data in different forms, and there are a number of categories that you can look at. For example, we might look at the funding agencies that supported the three records we've seen here, and then focus on the one that was funded by UEA. And here we go. This is the paper that, according to Web of Science, was funded by the UEA. You can also clear any filters you've added from just beneath your search box.